So if you are working only for a salary, you see the time to come and you see the time to go. But if you are working in the interest of the company, you may or may not look at the time. Now I am not saying be indisciplined and get involved in work and neglect your family at home. But are you working in the interest of the company? Are you truly working with all your head and heart put together? The confluence of head and heart put together for your company? And are you working only to see the time and to go the time? Are you working mechanically? So if you deserve it, you will get it. Why am I not getting the deserving promotion? Promotion for what? Promotion in your work environment, promotion in the government, promotion in, in an educational institution. So, presume you're asking, why am I not getting the deserved promotion in a corporate environment? It's, it's the same thing, it applies anywhere. So, analyze your question. There seems to be a little frustration, a little Repress, your question is slightly repressed. There seems to be a little frustration in the question. So, the moment you ask yourself that why am I not getting the deserved promotion? Because you don't deserve it. You yourself have answered it. Always remember, in life, actually your question is why am I not able to give, why am I not able to get the desired promotion? This is your question. You're not asking that, but you imply that. Because if you understand the power of deserving, you will never ask this question. Because the power of deserving is when you deserve it, you get it. Have you ever seen a fruit which deserves to be eaten on the tree? Have you ever seen a diamond which, is, which deserves to be on the finger in the mine? Have you ever seen a flower? Don't pick a flower, but have you ever seen a flower? which deserves to be on the tree or rather which deserves to be in a bouquet on the tree. Anything which is deserving, so there is a quotation, a stone which is fit for the wall, a stone which is fit for the wall will never be on the ground. Remember that. So when you find the stone which is for the wall, why will it be on the ground? It will be picked up and it will be put there. So you are not able to be promoted because of, ask yourself. Am I putting the right effort? Ask yourself, am I truly working in the interest of the company? Ask yourself, am I mechanically coming every day and working only for the salary? So if you are working only for a salary, you see the time to come and you see the time to go. But if you are working in the interest of the company, you may or may not look at the time. Now, I am not saying be indisciplined and get involved in work. and neglect your family at home but are you working in the interest of the company are you truly working with all your head and heart put together the confluence of head and heart put together for your company and are you working only to see the time and to go the time are you working mechanically so if you deserve it you will get it but if you are not getting a promotion because your focus is on the promotion your fo focus is not on the work if your focus is on the work, automatically you will get promoted. But today, your focus on when am I going to get promoted? When am I going to get promoted? You will never get promoted. And you will always be repressed. You will always be frustrated. As I said, a fruit which belongs, which belongs to be tasted will be never found on the tree. Will be never be found on the tree. A diamond which, is, which belongs to the finger will never be found in the mine. A flower which, still, which deserves to be in the temple will never be found on the tree. So, if you are the stone which, is, which has carved yourself in such a way which fits into the gap of the wall, you will be in the wall. You will be on the wall. And that carving is what Vedanta teaches you. So Vedanta tells you, carve yourself with work. Don't worry about the fruit. Work, 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 because your duty is to work. 
your duty is not the fruit fruit is not in your hand so when you work in your company truly for the benefit of the company for the benefit of your boss for the benefit of the people you will find that that same work becomes exhilarating the same work becomes interesting the same work becomes so fulfilling satisfying enjoying there's so much enjoyment there's so much joy that enjoyment that joy can never be got out of the focus on promotion and learn to be happy if you are not getting promoted firstly be happy where you are and look at other people who are promoted be happy for them and if you are not getting promoted take it up as a challenge and take tell yourself yes i have not got promoted i will work hard i will work harder not sit in cringe not sit and be repressed and keep on whining 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 ha huh? so focus on the work focus on the job not on the promotion because if you're fit for a promotion no gods can stop you gods will also not be able to stop you so what you must understand is the laws of life work perfectly in your nature but the problem is human beings don't allow the laws of life to work because of unnecessarily desiring so stop desiring promotion and deserve it and the way to deserve it too is to work truly with the confluence of the head and heart and in the interest of the company the probably the gods will pick you up and get you promoted but if you are not fit for a promotion you are not fit